All right. Hi, everyone. So for today's session, we're going to be going over quite a few different exercises. Just want you to be aware right now, there's going to be plenty of break time between exercises, about 30 seconds each. That being said, if you need more time to recover from any exercises we do, feel free to do that at any time, whether that's to wipe yourself off, catch your breath, get an extra sip of water, anything like that at all. I will be using these red dumbbells here. They're about five pounds. I recommend you could use five to 10 pounds for some of these exercises. Um, but again, they are optional. Don't feel like you need dumbbells in order to, to do this workout. You don't, you can treat it as a body weight uh, workout. So with all that said, I'm going to get started right now with my timer, about three minutes to warm up. I'm going to get my dumbbells out of the way so I can move around. And let's start with a little jog in place, a nice light jog. Actually, I'm going to make sure that my chat is on as well, just in case anyone has anything to say during our time together. So a light jog for the legs and feel free to swing your arms very lightly back and forth like so. So all of the exercises today have three sets or three rounds. We're gonna do about six exercises for three rounds. Each are gonna last about a minute long with 30 seconds in between for rest. Three. Two, one, let's go into high knees here. Feel free to just step high, knees up to about the hip height. You can also add a little hop if you're ready for it. So our three rounds are gonna last about 27 to 28 minutes. And then after that, we're gonna work our core for about 10 minutes after that. Three, two, one. Next up, working the legs just a little bit more. I want to do a side step and squat. Swinging your arms as you squat side to side. Make sure your back is nice and flat. And give yourself a nice wide step. Just like that. Keep swinging the arms. Let's do a couple more here. Three, two, one. Excellent. Next up, we're going to stretch out the hamstrings a little bit here. And we're going to do that with one of my favorite things for a warm up is toe touch and reach up. Some of you may be ready for a walk to a plank with me. Otherwise, stick with the toe touch for now. So I'm going to walk to a plank right now. Walk to that plank, keep the hips low. Come back and raise your arms up to the ceiling. Let's go back down and reach. Couple more here. And last one for the walk. And stand up. And let's go back to the jog a little bit faster now, a little faster. Get that heart rate up. So keep doing that for the next 10 seconds. And I'm gonna show you the first exercise. We're gonna be on the floor. And this one is called a reindeer pounce, but feel free to call it a push up if you want. Here's how it looks. Down on the ground, we're gonna push up. And I wanna add a little bit with a almost child pose like position. So down and back bouncing a little bit off the heel here, down and push up. If this is a little too much for anyone, you can treat it like a regular push up, just like that. So do what you can. We have another 25 seconds of this. So take your time with this one. I know I will be. I'm gonna be taking my time for the first set of everything. 15 seconds left. Now, even though I'm going a little bit slower, feel free to go a little faster than me if you'd like. You don't have to follow my pace. Last push up. And shake out those arms. Whew. All right, so the next four exercises I have in mind, feel free to grab your dumbbells. I think for this one, I'm gonna start off with just the one. 
And this one, I like to call a little elf side step. So what you're gonna do, keep the feet together as we come down into a squat and stay low. And we're gonna step side, center, side, center, just like that. So with me, step together, step together. Keep your back nice and flat during this time. I'm only down into about a half squat position here. That's all I need to really work my quads and my glutes. So we still have another 35 seconds here. And I know my legs are gonna be on fire at the end. Small, slow motion here, but a nice wide step. Try to straighten out the leg, straighten out the leg. 15 seconds here, keep it going. If you have a weight and it gets to be a little too heavy, simply put it down on the floor and keep going with your step. Five seconds, three, two, one. Woo. Standing up, shaking out the legs. 30 seconds rest, grab some water if you need it. I do right now. All right, so next one I like to call a reindeer walk. Others may call it a bear crawl. So going down onto the ground, right hand in front, left leg in front. And we're gonna take two steps forward, one, two, and two steps back, just like that. So do what you can. If you have a little more room than me, I only have enough room for about two steps here, forward and back. But if you can go a little farther, let's say five or even 10 steps forward, go for it. The number one thing here is the hips. Keep them low. A lot of people like to stick their hips up. We're not doing that today. Keep them low. So you see how slow I'm going here. This is very physically demanding. So I wanna take my time, especially for this first set. Just get my form right. I'm not gonna go much faster than this in the second or third set. Five seconds here, let's do a couple more. Forward and back. And all right, standing up. All right, next up, I'm gonna grab two weights here. We're gonna alternate two exercises. We're gonna go down into a squat, nice and low. Notice the dumbbells, they're right between, right in the middle here between my feet. We'll stand up and I wanna do an upright row. So a little side view. Dumbbells are real close to the body, just like that. Back is flat and with that upright row, Again, close to the body. So with me, let's go down, nice and low, as low as you can, and upright row. Taking your time with this one, especially because it's the first set with this exercise. Now again, you do not have to go my pace. If you wanna go a little faster or slower, that's okay. I'm also going down as low as I can into a full squat. But if you need to do just a half squat, that's all right. You do as many half squats as you need to. I will encourage everyone, of course, to try and do at least one full squat. 10 seconds left. Keep it going. Get those dumbbells all the way up right to just under the neck. Last one, squat and upright row, relax. About 30 seconds now. The next one is called a little winter jack. So feel free to have your dumbbells in your hands. Just know if you are using dumbbells, you'll feel it in the shoulders. If not, if you're not using dumbbells, you'll feel it in your back. So it's your call. Side step, side step, just like that. And if you don't have weights, then you can definitely add a little hop, just like that. Do what works for you. I would not recommend hopping with weights in hand. 
Squeeze the shoulder blades and squeeze, squeeze. Notice my arms here. My hands are about the same height as my shoulders, if not just a little bit lower. I do not recommend hands up high. That's really tough on the shoulder joint. We got about 20 seconds left. I'm gonna put my weights down and I'm gonna focus on my back. I wanna do some hops, so I'm gonna keep that going. Little hops here, you don't have to jump so high. Five seconds left. And relax, all right. Now this next one, in my opinion, is pretty tough. So we're gonna go real slow with this first set. Kind of like a globe jump. Moving to the side, we're gonna do some burpees here. So down to the ground, plank, walk back, come up. Now we're gonna go forward. After we jump to the side, walk to that plank, come forward, stand up. Everybody got that? Three, two, one. Hop, down and plank, walk back. Get ready for the other hop. Take your time with this one. There's a lot going on here. Try not to go crazy fast, especially cause it's our first time with this one. Small jumps, you don't have to jump so high. Make sure when you go into that plank, your hips are low. Hold for a second and then come back up. Down, walk back, keep it going. We got 15 seconds here, just a few more left. Down, keep it going. Nearly done here. Last one here, we're gonna hold a little longer. Three, two, step up. All right, that's the first set of everything. So we're gonna do everything again two more times before we work on the core. All right, quick little reminder, just a demo. The push-ups or the reindeer pounce, as I call it. Feel free to do just push-ups on the knees or on the feet. And then the pounce here is optional, let's go. You can also do the pounce and the push-up on the knees. I know we're starting to get a little tired here, so do what works best for you. Listen to your body. Do what you have to just to keep going. And don't forget, you can take breaks whenever. It does not have to be during the 30 seconds we have for every exercise. Make sure you're going low with your push-up. Nice and low. Keep it going. Nearly done here, nearly done. Watch the hips. Five seconds, let's do one more pounce and one more push-up. And sitting up, shake out those arms, they need it. Okay. Next up, we got that elf step. Feet together, going a little bit lower if you can. And remember, straighten out the legs, side together, straighten it out, side together, just like that, all right? Grab a weight or two if you have it. Keep it in front of your chest in three, two, down low. Let's go, step, step, step. I don't want to increase the speed on this one. If anything, I just want to stay a little lower in my squat than last time. Keep it going. Don't forget, take breaks when you need to. If you need to just stand up, catch your breath. Like some people, that's okay. Back is nice and flat, look straight ahead. Keeping that dumbbell or dumbbells right under your chin. 
If you don't have weights, just keep the hands under here, just like that. Whew. Nice flat back. Remember that. Try not to round your back. I know it's tempting. Don't do it. Whew. Three, two, last one. And whew. relax. Definitely shake out those legs. Woo. Oh. Beat them up if you have to. Quick little sip. All right, again, next up is the reindeer walk or the bear crawl. So right hand in front, left leg in front. And we're gonna do two steps forward, just a demo, two steps forward and two steps back. Unless you got the room, you can step more than just two. So let's go right now. Keep walking. Now this is something you can do with weights in hand, especially if they're nice and big weights so that your hands or your knuckles aren't sliding against the carpet, wall, floor, whatever you got. My weights here, the red ones that I only want to use, they're small. So I'm going to stick with just the hands. Keep it going. We got less than 15 seconds. Watch your hips. Keep them low. Eyes on the floor. Last one going back. And stop. That's a tough one. Shake out those hands. All right. 20 seconds before we go into the squat and the upright row. All right, so grabbing those weights, if you have them. And remember, stay nice and close to your body. You don't want the weights out here doing this. Keep them close to you. Way easier on the shoulders. Ready? Down low, as low as you can, and then upright row. Watch the weights here for the upright row. Just under the neck. This is a tough one, working lower body and upper body. So you wanna take it slow, especially if you have weights in hand. I only got five pounds here and I feel winded during this one. Woo! Keep the glutes nice and tight down and up. Glutes are tight, core is engaged, and that's what's gonna help maintain that flat back during your squat. Nearly done here, nearly done. I know the shoulders are getting tired. Try not to shrug, no shrugging. Last one here. Woo! All right, done. 30 seconds, shake out the arms and legs. Little reminder, we got the back jack or the winter jack next. And you can do sidestepping instead of the hop. If you're gonna use weights, if you wanna work your shoulders still, no hop, just sidestep and squeeze your back, whatever it is you have in hand. Ready, three, two, one, let's go. One minute. I'm gonna pick up the pace just a little bit with this one while I have weights in hand, just a tiny bit here. Nice wide step, core is tight. If you have weights, watch out for your back. Try not to lean back. No leaning back, keep it straight. Straight torso here. 30 seconds left. And a little reminder, you don't have to do weights the whole minute. We got 20 seconds left, I'm gonna put mine down and I'm gonna start hopping myself. Really focusing on squeezing my back here. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. We got less than 10 seconds. And done. Woo. Okay. I'm going to put my weights way out in front for this next one because we're going to be hopping all over. Again, just a demo here. 
slight hop to the right so we can burpee ourselves back and then to the left so we can walk to a plank and come forward. All right, five seconds here, get ready. Three, two, one, jump. Or just a light hop. Again, take your time with this one. I don't want to increase the speed on this at all because there's already so much going on. Just keep yourself going. Keep that heart rate up. Walk to a plank with me and up. Watch out for your back here. When you're in that plank, make sure it's nice and flat and keep your glutes low. I'm gonna do a little side view here. Walk back, little jump and walk to a plank. Try to hold that plank for just a second. One and go. Nearly done here, less than 10. One and go. Last one here, down, straight back, stand up. All right, everyone, that was two sets. We got one more set to go before we have a little break for the core. See how we're doing here, all right. Okay, quick sip. All right, first thing, the push-ups with that pounce, the reindeer pounce. So plank position now, and push up, and pounce back. I will say it again for this final time, the pounce here is optional. Have your feet nice and wide, about shoulder width apart if not a little wider. Keep those glutes low, especially for your push-up. Nearly done, we got about 25 seconds. This is our last push-up exercise. So do what you can. Oh my, I have to go on my knees for the last few seconds. Woo, that's all right. 10 seconds. Getting so tired, but still going. Last pounce and done. Getting winded after that one. Woo. Okay. Next up is the elf step or the small squat with the side step. All right, for this one, you know what? I'm gonna stick with the one weight. About five pounds in hand. Get ready, we got five seconds here. Feet together, bend the knees and the hips, and let's go down to the side and back to the center. Stay extra low for this set. This is our final set for the elf step. Watch your back, make sure you're breathing. I'm sure you can hear me doing my deep breathing from here. <sighs> 30 seconds left, do what you can. Again, if you need to stand up and rest, that's okay. Just go back down as soon as you can. 15 seconds left, everyone, 15 seconds. Look straight ahead. Glutes are tight, core is engaged. Nearly done here. Three, two, last step. Ah, uh, Okay. You know what? I just remembered. I do have weights for the bear crawl or the reindeer walk. They're right here. They're about 10 pounds, that's okay. All right, grab those weights if you have them for the bear crawl. Right arm in front, left leg in front. Two steps forward, one, two, two steps back. If you have weights, go extra slow. I want 
everyone to have full control over the weight, especially during this time. There's so much going on. Working the upper body, like the shoulders, the back, the arms, and then there's the lower body. And of course, there's the core. We're working everything here with this. So extra slow on this one. 20 seconds to go. Deep breathing. Take those breaks when you need to, everyone. Hips low, eyes on the floor. Three, two, last time forward. Done. Oh. Part of me is glad I only did one set with the weights for that one. <laughs> Woo! All right. Weights away. I'm not using those for the next one. Okay. I'm grabbing my lighter five pound weights. Quick reminder, a little demo. Nice and low and upright row. By the way, if I didn't say what this is called before, jingle bell heaves. So grab those dumbbells and heave. Down and up. Down and up. Notice that I don't raise the elbow, the dumbbells up to my shoulders until I stand up straight. Then I heave. Hold and heave, just like that. It's a four step motion here. One, two, three, four. Keep it going. Two, three, 15 seconds left. Keep your heels on the floor. I know it's tempting to be on your toes. Don't do it. Stay on your heels. Bring that butt back into the squat. Back is flat. Last one here. And relax. All right, quick sip of water if you have it. Okay. And again, optional with the weights for the winter jacks. Shoulders, we'll be working with weights. If you don't have weights, work on your back. Squeeze the shoulder blades for this one. Three. Two, one, arms out and squeeze, squeeze. Little sidestep, if not hopping. Remember to breathe, everyone, breathe. So a little side view here, try to get your hands just behind, just behind the torso if you can. 30 seconds left. A couple more seconds and I'm gonna put my weights down. Three, two, one. All right. Keep it going, keep it going. Less than 15 seconds to go. Stay on your toes with this one if you're hopping. Three, two, one. And relax, shake it out, shake it out, shake it out. Okay, our final time with those burpees or walk to a plank. So again, quick demo, little reminder, small step, kind of like hopping over a log. And then we're gonna do our burpees or the walk to a plank. All right, three, two, one, start with the hop. With me, if you're with me, start going back. Little hop and walk to a plank. Keep it going. Mind your back. You want to keep it as straight as possible, especially in your plank. Little side view here. Down and walk back. Down, walk to a plank. We're more than halfway through, everyone. Last time with the burpees. Slow it down if you need to. Just try to keep going for the next 
15 seconds that we have for this exercise. Whew. Whew. Little front view, walk to a plank. Whew. Last one here, little hop, down, globe jump, burpee back, and done. Whew. All right. And we have about a minute or so to catch our breath get some water, wipe ourselves off if we need to. And I'm gonna go over the four exercises we have for our core workout. This is gonna last about 10 minutes or so. Keep that in mind. So this first one is the only one with a single dumbbell. We're gonna do one hand up. I'll tell you when to switch hands. And we're gonna do our best to just get our shoulder blades off the floor. If not, come straight up. All right? Whew. Half the time on one hand, half the time on the other. I'll let you know when to switch. After that, we're gonna plank. This is our only plank here. And we're gonna do a little side step, side step, just like that for 45 seconds. Everything is 45. After that, lying down, cross the feet. Another half and half here. One hand touches the heel, just like that. I'll let you know when to switch sides. And then our final exercise, we want our hands right by the glutes and knees to chest. So those are the four. We'll go over that again as we move on. So get ready, grab that weight. Three, two, one, come up. Again, just the shoulder blades off the floor if not sitting all the way up like this. Try to keep your eyes on your hand or your dumbbell. Couple more with this side. Let the head rest on the floor before you sit up again. Bring it down, switch arms. Let's go. If you're sitting up like me, try to straighten out your back as much as possible. Keep that arm directly over your head. We got less than 10 seconds here. Last one. Bring it down. Rest. We don't have much time for rest. So let's go right into our plank with the side step. So plank position, hips low, and we're just gonna step to the side here. So with me, one, Two, just like that. Alternate your sides. And if planking off the knee is too much, then you can do a little leg raise like this. Knees on the floor and really squeezing at the side of your glutes. Either one works. Just try to keep your hands directly under your shoulders. I'm gonna try and do my steps for the next 10 seconds we have here for this exercise. Five, four, three, two, one more step. All right. Again, that was our only plank for this round. Next two, we're gonna be lying on the floor. Head stays on the floor, cross the feet. Feel free to have one hand behind your head and let's tap the heel. Tap the heel with one hand. This way we're really working our obliques and I encourage everyone to take those feet and bring them far to the side with you. So it's easier to tap the heel. A couple more and let's switch sides, go. Other side now is working. Really squeeze that oblique, the side of your core. <sighs> Nearly done here, five seconds. Three, two, one, whoo. <sighs> All right, we're still lying down. And again, hands on the sides, right by your glutes. Take those knees and you're gonna bring them to your chest and then rest your heels on the floor. To make this more challenging, you can straighten out your legs a little bit more or even have them all the way straight. I think for this first set, I'm gonna do bent knees myself. 
really focusing on the lower part of your abdomen here, the lower part. If you're wondering if you're doing this right, think about your hips here. When you lift the knees towards you, try to get your hips off the floor, hips up and rest. Hips up and rest, just like that. <sighs> Nearly done, five seconds here. Let's do one more. And good, all right. I'm gonna take a quick sip of water, grab your dumbbell. We're gonna go right into it here, everyone. One side, ready, let's go. Just try to get the shoulder blades off the floor if not coming up all the way. Now this one is working the front of the core for sure. And so long as the shoulder blades come off the floor, you're really working the top part of your abdomen here, the top part. Last one for this side. Good, switch arms. Let's go. Eyes on the dumbbell or your hand, whatever's above your head. <sighs> Nearly done here, five seconds, let's do two more. And last one. <sighs> All right. Plank position, everyone. Plank position. <sighs> Get ready for this one. Again, on or off the knees works just fine. If you're off the knees, quick demo. Just raise those knees up to the side to really work the side of the glutes. Just like that on the knees, if you're off the knee, just do some sidestepping with your feet, sidestep. Watch those hands. A lot of people like to have their hands in front like this. That's too far forward, bring it back a little bit. That's how we work the core. Hands right under the shoulders. 10 seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one, relax. Some of you know it already, but I'll say it again. Lying on your back. No weights for this one. Cross the feet, one hand behind the head. The other hand reaches for the heel. Let's go right now. So my hand here behind my head is supporting my head so that my neck doesn't hurt during this time. Squeeze the side, squeeze the side. Just a couple more here. Last one and switch sides right into it. If you're wondering, it does not matter which foot is in front when you cross the feet. What does matter is bringing your hands and heels to the side for a good crunch here. Do what you can, we got about five seconds here. And done, all right. Going back to our knee tucks here. Again, bent knees, hips off the floor. If you're looking for a challenge, straighten out the legs a little bit here, straighten them out. Otherwise, keep the knees bent. If anyone's having a really tough time with these knee tucks, try one leg at a time instead. One leg at a time, alternate, just like that. I'm gonna keep going with my two. Again, focusing on the lower part of the core and get those hips off the floor. 10 seconds left. Two more, and last one here. Up and relax. All right, everyone, we got one more set to go. So about 10 seconds here, let's grab our weight. Half and half here, about 20 seconds or so. Arms straight up, and let's go. Shoulder blades up, or come all the way up and flatten your back, flatten your back. 
This is really tough. So take your time with this one. It's about form, not speed. Last one here for this side. Bring it down and switch sides right into it. Let's go. Try to keep your heels on the floor. 10 seconds. Eyes up onto your dumbbell or your hand and bring it down. No more weights for this session. No more weights. You can put that aside. All right, and we're gonna go into our final, final, final plank for this session. So on or off the knees, let's sidestep or give it a little glute raise with the knee. Do what you can. Hands right under the shoulders. Glutes are low and your eyes should be on the floor, right between your hands. Woo. I need that quick break myself. Take those breaks when you need to everyone. Shake out the arms if you need to, and then go right back into it when you can. We have about five seconds left here. Three, two, one, and done. All right. Everyone, two more exercises to go and that'll be it. Best part is we get to lie on our backs. All right, back on the floor, one hand behind the head, cross the feet and touch the heel. Touch the heel, keep it going. Nice and easy here. Again, it's about form, not speed. I want you to get that full contraction in as well as that full relaxation. Like you're letting your sides breathe a little bit. Couple more, last one. Good, let's switch sides right into it. Tapping the heel every time. Reach for it as much as you can. Again, bring the heels to the side to help out with that reach. Nearly done. Three, two, one. All right. And our very last exercise, our last minute together for this workout, bending the knees as much as you need to. Hands or palms right on the floor next to your hips and knee tuck. Again, the biggest thing here, hips come off the floor. Hips up, relax. Hips up, relax. Straighten out the legs if you can. I'm gonna stick with bent knees myself. Oh my goodness, this is a killer. Oh. 20 seconds left. Hips up, hips up. Your hips do not have to come off the floor like a foot high just enough so that you know that they've come off the floor. That's it, even if it's just an inch, that works great. Last one here and relax. Oh my goodness. All right, for those of you who have enough time, we got two minutes to cool down. So let's do that right now. Sitting up just like me. I'm on my knees, you can do this on your feet if you would like. Arms up, take a deep breath in. And exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Widen your legs a little bit if you can. Inhale up, we're gonna hold the arms up. Grab one wrist, I got my right wrist here and I'm leaning to my left. Stretching out my side. We're not gonna hold long. Three, two, one, bring it center. Exhale down. And we're gonna do the other side now. Inhale up, grab the other wrist, lean to your other side. So I got my left wrist and I'm pulling it to my right. Pulling it to my right. Three, two, one, center. Bring the arms down all the way down and behind you. Nice straight back here, interlace the fingers. Straighten out the arms, look straight ahead and puff out that chest. 
Holding this position, good stretch here. Three, two, one, release the arms. Shake out those fingers. And if you haven't stand, stood up already, come up with me now. And we're gonna shake out the legs a little bit. I'm gonna grab my little half wall here. I'm gonna swing the legs. Couple more seconds here. And let's switch to the other side. Keep swinging it out, other leg here. We got 10 seconds left for the cool down and that'll be it. Five, four, three, two, and one. And that is it, everyone. So thank you all for joining me. If you stuck with the workout for 45 minutes straight, thank you. I see that hand clap. Thank you all for joining me today. And as I always say, if you have any questions or comments for me, feel free to leave them in the chat and I'll be on a little longer to answer anything you might have for me. Otherwise, you beat me to it. Happy holidays, everyone. Be safe and above all, stay healthy. Take care, everyone.